Now, welcome to our canon fodder review of Marvel Comics Star Wars Obi Wan Kenobi number one, I believe is oh, the five. name. Number one of five, yeah, a limited, limited run series. series of stories that take place during Kenobi's life from the early days, which this issue is when he is a youngling in the Jedi Temple, up until who knows the olden days. I'm guessing. <laughs> Well, it does start out, this book does start out with the old Kenobi kind of preparing for a sandstorm, which he's kind of now Learned feeling it in sense, my bones yeah. kind of thing, yeah. And he also talks about how it hasn't rained since the fourth day he's been on Tatooine, mm -hmm. which made me wonder if that is a reference to the Kenobi novel. Did he ever mention rain early on in that novel? Which is not a canon book anymore, but I wonder if that was like a nod to that and I'm just forgetting it or not. And very easily that could have just been something that was just not mentioned in the novel because we see him come to the, pl the day he comes to the planet, we know he, you know, that day. Yes. And then the next time rain. we don't see him until he rescues Annalene's daughter. At that True. point, he's well, we already dropped the... off the baby. Yeah. He's already setting up camp in that, you know. Yeah, we don't know exactly place. We don't how know long. how many days between him coming to the planet with Luke, bef you know, before he meets... The daughter. We, it's relatively soon-ish. I, I don't know how many days. Yeah, I mean, it's not a it's not a huge deal. I think if it would have rained during that time, it would have, if it rains every twenty years or so, I think it would have, someone would have made mention of it in the book. I don't know. It's just one of those things I think about because I'm I'm always looking. We for also that didn't hear things from Kenobi talking. You know, really. So. True, but I mean, I'm just saying the normal it, the others don't. anybody on Tatooine probably would. It would be big news if it rained, right? If it only rains every. Who knows, every couple of decades, apparently. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I just thought it would be interesting to... I, I couldn't remember. It's been a while since I read it. But I couldn't remember if it had rained in that book to sort of match up with this. Either way, what did you think of this comic? I thought it was... Well, most comics are just kind of short, so they have to get to the point really fast. Too fast, yeah. I feel it was... the story. I, I liked hearing a story from young Obi-Wan's training days, but I think this story was too action-packed for young Obi-Wan's training days. It just felt out of place. Well, that is, that's one of the issues with, not with comic books per se, but when you're trying to put something like Star Wars in it, you're always going to, comics are always going to be action. Not always. There are a lot of non-action-oriented comics, don't get me wrong. But usually, it's a Star Wars comic book, you're going to want to have your action and your, you know, I mean, and so on. I mean, it could have just so. been something hard in his training he was working to overcome. And sure. Instead of going that route, they went with this, like, zany story. Well, yeah, I mean, to... Spoiler alert if you were planning on reading this, but I mean, it, it starts, again, we, we have a little kind of Kenobi in the desert, old Kenobi, and he's, you know, the sandstorm is coming, so he starts to write in his journal, which we see in the other, in the mainline Star Wars comics from Marvel, we see there's a couple of stories taken from the journal of Obi-Wan Kenobi, so we see him actually writing in it in here, and he's talking about when he was a youngling at the temple, and one of his friends wants to go home, essentially, so she runs away in the night, kind of finds some mm -hmm. shady characters who are going to take her home. Well, she she wants to go home because she's getting a vision of her father, father in yeah. pain. Yes. An immense pain, but there's no context. And of course, you're immediately going to go, well, remember when Anakin had visions of uh, Padme? Yeah. And well, yeah, we a lot of, I mean, one of the themes when you have a vision, it's, it's very hard to interpret mm -hmm. what the vision is actually trying to tell yeah. you. So it was about her not being able to let go of her attachments. Yes. Which I think is kind of going to tie into the theme of what this whole series is going to be. It's Kenobi constantly having to let go of the people he cares about. Because he, he has an attachment to this girl. I seem to be friends. And yeah, his friend Garen. Yeah, Garen I think is Garen, her name. Yeah. G-E-H-R-E. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but we'll call her Garen. But from... what else bothered me is she had a necklace that was also like some ore or something from her planet. Yeah. She, how come she knows her planet so well? Aren't they supposed to be taking very young when they're well, they're supposed taken to, be to the temple? Basically and she infants, clearly yeah. seemed to remember her father. She has a necklace from home. She won't let go of attachments for the or, for the Jedi Order. Yeah. So I, I don't know how she knows all that. It doesn't obviously get into why she seems to have more knowledge than some do. Maybe she just remembers it. Maybe she was taken a year or two older mm -hmm. and has some memories. Maybe some other way she found out, or maybe. I don't know, maybe sometimes they're told where they come from. I doubt that, but hard to say why she seems to know that. But as I was saying, I think this is going to be kind of the theme of this five-book series where Kenobi, I think the next issue might deal with Satine during the you know his training with Qui-Gon and having to let go of her. We're going to obviously probably have an issue with Anakin and how he eventually has to let go of him. But it's also trying to showcase uh, Obi-Wan's loyalty 
to yes. the people around him. Yes. Well, he is he, loyal to his friend. I mean, he knows he's not supposed to go to the temple at night, but he goes because he's trying to bring her back. Well, I mean, I think it's interesting in one respect if, if this is kind of the theme or the route they're going. Because, you know, as I always talk about in other videos on my other channel, like, the Jedi are not taught to be, like, completely emotionless monks. They have friends. It is okay to have friends. Mm -hmm. It's okay to experience feelings and to care about other people. It's just learning to control your feelings, learning to control your emotions, not letting them control you. That's what a Jedi is, you know, essentially not all about, but it's essentially what their training is to get them... So that you don't, you know, chop off Mace Windu's arm to save your wife, potentially, and end up saving a Sith Lord and ruining, ruining the entire galaxy, right? That's the whole idea here. So it does show that Obi-Wan is an extremely compassionate person. He makes friends, he cares about people greatly, and, you know, that is nice to see, right? Because he does, Obi-Wan has always felt like that very loyal character. Mm hmm I just thought it was a bit hokey. I mean, she somehow runs off into the underground, of course, not the underworld. <laughs> yes manages to find someone to take them off world oh and then and then they get captured because oh look they're they're younglings so we could we could sell them or have we have yeah. use for force powerful kids ah, ha, ha, yeah ha. we're gonna like make them slaves in our crew or something yeah and then yeah. oh in perfect in sync they just concentrate on their manacles and break free yes. they're still younglings they they seem to have enough power as the full adult you know jedis do i mean just pop there we go. We got out of our shackles. Ha ha. Yeah, it was. Beat up the bad guys and run away. And I mean, that's oftentimes the problem with a, a one-shot comic is you have you know basically twenty-four-ish pages to try to tell a story, mm -hmm. to get a beginning, a middle, and an end, and to try to get your little lesson in there as well. And this mm -hmm. one just feels, you know, it, it is what it is. It's a very small snippet of a. And a I'm moment in his life. Very curious if she'll crop up again later in the comics because oh no, she won't because old Obi Wan. Was saying he never saw her again. Yeah, he does mention. He so he doesn't even know if she got off planet or if she died somewhere in the underworld because obviously she couldn't use that connection to get off planet anymore. True, I highly doubt she's going to show up anywhere else in any part of the canon. But you never know with the interconnectivity that they sometimes as do in the comics. As long as they don't mess it up and have him like two issues down the road. Look, I ran into my friend. Oh, old like, Obi. Um, she tracks like old Obi one down. No, that wouldn't make any sense whatsoever. But hey, who knows? Now I think she's just kind of a. No offense to this character, but she's just a throwaway character for this one issue of the comic book. To, again, kind of show that Obi-Wan, as you pointed out, is a very loyal character. He cares very deeply for people, and throughout his life he has to continue to let go, which just, unfortunately is the, the burden of being a Jedi, right? Right. It just bothers me that we don't even know if she made it back to her home planet to stop whatever her vision was, or if she what, or exactly what her vision was showing her. Yeah, and well, again... We have no idea what happened to... The wayward youngling. <laughs> yeah. And then and then after the whole adventure, Obi-Wan goes back to the temple and gets put to work by Yoda. Well, he somehow could see the stars, remember? Yeah, he, I forgot oh, about well, that. Well, he guided by the stars, and Garen's like, oh, you can't see the stars here. He's like, you just have to know how to look. And he never tells us how he looks. Well, you have to he know just, how to look, too. He apparently. just follows the stars, makes it back to the temple. Master Yoda gives him some advice and gives him a broom, a broom and to tells put him, him, to work. Put him to work yeah. for disobeying the rules and going out. Yeah. I'm surprised he was doing it manually and didn't just use the force to use the broom. He needs to take lessons from... Do a little sorcerer's from, apprentice, apprentice from Disney. Just broom boy. He can broom take boy, lessons uh, from broom boy. I'm sure broom boy just uses the force to sweep, 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 right? Most what likely. What else would you want to use the force for other than, you know, housework? So, yeah, I mean, we, we've discussed this before going into it, wondering if there's going to be any connection to the Kenobi series. And I would say after this first issue, probably not. I don't think we're going to have any connection oh, here. Yeah, he's going to... But of course, this First is a very. Like, this would be just like that time on Coruscant <laughs> yeah, with my like, friend. I remember when I was they a kid in the temple. They better not put her in there because, again, old Obi Wan said he didn't, didn't see her again. Yeah, so I don't think this is going to have any bearing on that at all. That's one of the things I was most curious about this series. It, any kind of connection, and so far, I'm going to say no. Well, we're not due for another issue of, of this. I don't believe June, until, until next month. Yeah. So, and I think next month is going to go over some of his early trainings with Qui Gon, like you said. Yeah. Possibly on Mandalore. With Satine. With Satine, yeah. But anyway, I mean, it, it, it was what it was. It was just a one-off, pretty, again, probably going to tie into this theme of Kenobi having the let go throughout his entire life. That's about all. Kenobi this... making the, the choice to follow the Jedi path. Yes, which is important because he does, you know, I think part of, well, I mean, I guess we could say it could connect into the Kenobi series because I'm assuming part of this is going to be Kenobi kind of 
you know, maybe I should choose another one. Maybe I should just be done with this. Maybe I don't have to be loyal to this order that... To reflect on the choices he's made for the Jedi. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we're going to have it referenced, but it does tie into potentially what the series could be about, Mm -hmm. certainly. I agree. But overall, I mean, if you don't read this comic, you're probably not missing anything. No. So anyway, I'll give it... Are we going to rate these or just call it? I don't think we have to rate them. We're going to rate them? All right. So, well, that's all we got for you this time, then. Take to the comments below. Tell us if you read this comment comment Comment. tell us if you read this comic and what you thought of it or what you thought of our review of it either way leave your comments below let's talk some star wars and until next time thanks for watching